dyslexia. Release your fears, reveal your strengths. Imagine we each have a new bundle of invisible mental energy every day. How much of your wonderful energy do you use each day to hide dyslexia-related fears? It's completely understandable if you feel angry or upset about being misunderstood in the past. It can be liberating to let all that go. I recommend talking with someone who understands as a good starting point. Identifying and using your strengths is also a very healthy step to take. Your strengths may include being artistic, holistic, creative, musical. You may be a great speaker, gymnastic, caring, empathic, innovative, intuitive, a visual thinker, have great spatial skills, resilient, mathematical, journalistic, scientific, psychic, awakened, practical, determined, open-minded. You may be a problem solver. You may see the wider picture or any number of other things. At least 10% of us are dyslexic thinkers. We are people from all walks of life. Reading, spelling, organisation and some other skills may have been far more challenging for us to learn than our non-dyslexic peers and we can further develop those skills if we choose to, as I have. There is a saying that we are as we think. Positive thinking can greatly enable us all. Be kind to yourself. Say positive things about yourself. Your thoughts, both conscious and unconscious, are powerful. And some more good news is that you can change thoughts that no longer serve you well. Find solutions. Be empowered, follow your life purpose, and most importantly, Love yourself fully. That's what I recommend. Thank you. Thank you.